Hi children, welcome to EduCup. Today we are with new video from Grade 7 Science. This is Unit 9 Light and the second part. Our first subtopic is images formed by plane mirrors. Look at your face through a mirror. You can see your image inside the mirror. How it is formed? Can you recall instances where sunlight is directed on to a wall in the house from outside using a mirror? This is a picture of reflection of light. Here the light that falls on the mirror is turned back to the house. The phenomena of returning the light rays in the same medium after falling on a surface is called reflection of light. Light reflects well from smooth polished shining surfaces. Polished shining surfaces act as mirrors. Forming images by mirrors is a result of the reflection of light. This figure shows you an image formed by a mirror. A polished shining plane surface is known as plane mirrors. A plane mirror is drawn in this diagram. The first figure is for plane mirror and second one is how light is reflected by the plane mirror. The image of a candle placed in front of the plane mirror is shown in this figure. Let's find out about the images formed by plane mirrors. We have to do this activity by using a plane mirror, a candle and a ruler. What we have to do? Place the ruler perpendicular to the mirror like this figure, then place the lighted candle at the far end of the ruler. Observe the image of the candle formed through the plane mirror. See the observations of the nature of the image in this table. I have given you a table with properties of, of the image and the observation. The properties of the images are can cannot be obtained on the screen or upright or inward, then the size. Let's see. If the image can be obtained on a screen, the image is termed as real. It is cannot be taken onto a screen. Then the image is known as virtual. Let's find out about Images formed by a sheet of glass. We can do this activity by using sheet of glass, two candles, which are in same size and shape, a ruler and a screen. We have to do, place the ruler perpendicular to the sheet of the glass and place a lighted candle at the far end of the ruler, like show in figure. Observe the image of the candle formed through the sheet of the glass. It is more suitable to carry out this activity in a dark place. Place the other candle where you see the image as shown this figure. Compare the size of image with the candle. Measure the distances between the first candle and the sheet of glass that means object distance and between the second candle and the sheet of the glass that means image distance. After that, you have to record your observation with size of the image, distance between first candle and the sheet glass, distance between the second candle and the sheet of glass. Let's see. As a conclusion, the features of an image formed by plane mirror are given below. Let's see one by one. Cannot be obtained on a screen. It's virtual. 
size of the image is equal to the size of the object left and right side size sides of the images are interchanged that means lateral inversion is there image is formed behind the mirror that means distance from the mirror to the object is equal to the distance of the from the mirror to the image this is how it's happened let's see what is the lateral inversion we can do activity by using a plane mirror letters this is what what we are going to do place each letter cut from the cardboard sheet in front of the plane mirror and observe let's see the observations this is how the observations are happen it is observed that right and left sides of letters b d and p are inverse the right and left sides of the letter o is also inverse but it is not observable because the letter o is um, symmetrical this phenomena of inversion light and left side of an object when observed through a plane mirror is known as lateral inversion this is how lateral inversion happened of the mirrors images think of the reason for painting the word ambulance on ambulances as shown in this figure let's see multiple images to show the number of items as increased in jewelry shops plain mirrors are kept behind the items and parallel to each either side light is reflected by those mirrors and large number of images can be observed we can see this uh, in jewelry shops where multiple image are formed when two or more plane mirrors are kept at the angle of parallel to each other and the object is kept in between more than one image are formed such formation is known as multiple images let's find out more about this phenomena we have to do this activity by using a candle two plane mirrors and a protector what we have to do keep two plane mirrors at an angle of 90 degrees and place the lighted candle between them count the number of images formed change the angle between the plane mirrors as 60 degree 45 degree and 30 degrees and count the number of images formed in instances then tabulate your observations let's see our observation the angle between two plane mirrors and the number of images are formed in 90 degrees there are three images 60 degrees there are five images 45 degrees are images 30 degrees there are 11 images the number of images formed are increase when the angle between the two plane mirrors are decreases that is the conclusion let's see the instances where plane mirrors are used as mirrors in dressing rooms to illuminate various objects in cinematography to direct light onto the slide of microscopes to construct kaleidoscope and periscopes let's construct a kaleidoscope by using three strips of plane mirrors with equal dimensions black paper gum tape what we have to do keep the strip of plane mirrors triangularly as shown the figure cover one end with the piece of tissue paper 
cover the mirror with a black paper and stick securely with gum tape. Put small colored items like beads, pedals into the this and observe to the open den. Turn around the instruments to see how the colored patterns are changed. You will be able to observe various patterns. These patterns are formed by reflection of light from several mirrors. Vivid patterns formed in a kaleidoscope are used to create designs for textile, floor tiles and wall tiles. Periscope is another instrument made using the phenomena of reflection of light through the plane mirrors. Let's make a periscope. We have to use two identical plane mirrors, pieces of cardboard sheet and gum tape. What we have to do, make tubes of appreciated size using the piece of cardboard sheet construct the equipment as shown in this figure. Place the pieces of mirrors at the angle of 45 degrees at each bend. Get the assistance of your teacher for this construction. Observe the objects through the instruments you made. An observer positioned in the low level, you can use a periscope to observe incidents that occur in a higher level. This is commonly used in submarines and bunkers. This is what we have to learn as the second part of this uh, light lesson. Our next video from same unit topic is images formed by curved mirrors. Thank you.